how you doing here? <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying um, to see if this uh, audio uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack on my phone is an input and an output, or just an output for the headphones, and uh, which uh, can also go to my speakers. But I have my mic, my SM58, running through my. Uh, I'm gonna back up to show it. <coughs> it's running. There's my SM58. It's running through my cassette deck up there somewhere. And that, oh, and I moved. Okay, so I moved way back away from the mic, and I know it wouldn't pick me up, but there's my cassette deck. Now, I may be getting picked up very lightly from the phone. Well, it's close enough that it would pick up as usual, which is not very loud. So, but if I... Yeah, could use an external mic that could you know if I'm doing if I'm not moving around much then that might that'd be good of course if you're moving around and you got a huge you can't show that it, really but uh, you know what I might be able to do my laptop you can probably see that my laptop um, is highly reflective so this is my a huge, see it's a quarter inch uh, TRS and then it's converted down to a 3.5 millimeter so uh, it's uh, you know, you can't move it around you gotta be careful, you'll break, break the phone jack so uh, anyway I use it on my laptop and it works pretty good I plug it in right here and I have the laptop sitting on this board sitting on my keyboard tray and my big rack here my computer rack and audio rack is what I use it for audio see I have some adapters actually that make a 19 inch rack gear fit the rest of it's just sitting on the shelves it has shelves but uh, anyway that board serves as a way to, for me to spin my laptop back and forth I can put it whichever direction I want and spin it around <clears throat> towards me over here at the desk or over me at the bed when I want to watch TV. I use it every night to watch TV, even video on the TV. But um, anyway, that kind of supports this big old plug and makes it to where it won't be so easily getting broke off. So, um, we'll see. I'm going to watch back this video and see if I actually picked up audio from the mic or from the phone itself. I'll be able to tell by the way it sounds, especially when I move away from the mic like I just did. Um, or if it killed the audio. <laughs> Who knows when you're just playing and experimenting. So I, I don't never did really read anything that told me one way or the other. No, I don't remember anything in the manual mentioning. Cause I didn't read every word of it. It's too long. But I don't remember anything mentioning that this could be a dual. Uh, and there may be some settings in there that uh, I think I have it set on default which may just be the built-in mic there I remember somewhere in the settings in the phone itself there were some settings that you could say external mic but I tried out my Plantronics <coughs> my Plantronics uh, uh, Bluetooth headset which would be great if uh, only the battery would charge. You have to. I can. It does work plugged into the USB of a computer or something, a USB power source, with a USB cable, which of course is a problem. So because uh, you can't move, and it won't even hardly hang on my ear. I have to hang it upside down to get it to stay there. So I can't really use that unless I get a new battery for it. And that looks like they're around six or seven dollars. And uh, and it's not actually meant to change the battery. I'd have to hack into it and figure out how to do it. I've saw some videos on how you can do it, but uh, you can get them from twelve to twenty-five dollars brand new, and that's a pretty old one. Somebody gave it to me. So anyway, I'm just figuring out how I could maybe get the best sound possible out of this phone. That's an SM58, great mic. I used to mix sound for bands, and that I use these in 57s on everything. So uh, anyway. 